Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about which door and window sensors are compatible with your Simon XTI and XTI 5. Now today we have a Simon XTI set up. I do have an XTI 5 here just so you can see what it looks like. As you can see it's very similar except that the screen is slightly larger. The XTI 5 has the same user interface as the XTI, so if you are on the market for a new Simon system, we do recommend picking up the XTI 5 as it's literally the same exact system just with a larger screen. Now, as far as the door and window sensors that are compatible with the panel, only uh, sensors that work on the 319.5 frequency will be compatible with the system out of the box. That's the only uh, frequency that it does work with, and obviously the sensors that are made by Interlogix, which is the company that makes Simon, those will be compatible with the system. A side note is that if you have Qualsys sensors, or if you're replacing a Qualsys system with a Simon system, there's a good chance that those sensors are going to be compatible, as Qualsys sensors also work on the 319.5 frequency range, and you'll be able to program them right into your Simon system. A cool side note about the Qualsys sensors is that they've actually released a new line of encrypted sensors called S-Line sensors. Those can even be programmed into your Simon system. It's just that they won't use that encryption feature that you would get if they were programmed into a compatible IQ system. Now, as far as the sensors go for your Simon system, Interlogix does have a nice line of sensors, and you'll probably be able to accomplish whatever install you're looking to do with the sensors from the Simon or Interlogix line. But if you do want to use different sensors to do specific things, you may need to add an intermediary device to get them uh, compatible with the Simon system. Just as an example, this right here is an Interlogix door sensor. As you can see, it's got a clean look. It's programmed in the system, and it just told me that I opened the door. Uh, it looks, you know, pretty basic and works on most trims. But if you want to use something else, for example, like a Honeywell 5816 sensor or something equivalent, you're going to have to get a translating device to get it to be programmed into your Simon system. The reason being is that these sensors and other sensors, they work on different frequency ranges and they may not be directly compatible with your Simon panel. Uh, there's a couple reasons of why you may be trying to get other types of sensors into the system. As I said before, let's say you're doing an install and there's a sensor from the Honeywell 5800 line that would be perfect for a certain application. That might be one instance. Another one is if you're taking over a hardwired system or an existing system with your Simon panel and you want to try to convert the wireless sensors that are in the house to be able to work with the system. There may be more instances where this occurs. Basically, it's whenever you're looking to translate a sensor to make it compatible with that 319.5 frequency range. Now, there is a few things that you can do to accomplish this. One is, for example, if you're going to use only Honeywell sensors like the, the 5816 or other ones from the 5800 line, these work on the 345 frequency that frequency can be converted. We have a device on the website called the IQ Translator 345. It's a standalone device, you install it, and what it's gonna do is when this sensor signals, it's gonna take that signal, it's gonna translate it and convert it into the 319.5 frequency, spit it out, and then the Simon's gonna be able to pick it up and you'll be able to program the sensor into the system. That translating device works great, if you are going to get a translating device, though, we have a more robust one available. It's called the Resolution 524. It's a, it does the same thing as the, the Qualsys translator, except that you're able to adjust what company or what frequency it's going to input and what frequency it's going to output. There's two dials inside of the device, and one allows you to select the company for the input frequency, and the other one allows you to select the company for the output. So for example, if you're using Honeywell 5800 sensors, you would set the input to Honeywell, and you'd set the output to Interlogix. That would take the 345 frequency, convert it to the 319, spit it out, and the system will be able to pick it up, and you'll be able to program all those devices into the panel. If you have any questions on this, Simon panel, how to convert sensors, what to do in an install, or when you're doing a panel swap, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Number again is 888-818-7728. You can head over to our website, alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be updated when we post future videos, click the notification button below, and we'll do so when we post them. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.